everyone, welcome back to Faith and Flower. I'm Robin and today's video is a day in the life to give you guys a glimpse of some of the things we've been doing while we're in North Carolina. Today is a little road trip along with Lauren, who is Kyle's fiance. She's also graduating. Peyton, Kyle's driving, and my sister Chris came along as well for a fun day to celebrate graduation with pictures and to help Kyle move out of his apartment. So it's all hands on deck. We're having a good time <laughs> making the best of the strange situation that we're in in 2020. And I thought you guys might like to come along for the ride. are graduating from East Carolina University, which is about an hour and a half drive from where my parents live. Because graduation will be virtual this year, we thought that it would be fun to make some memories by coming back to the campus to say goodbye, search out some of our favorite spots, and take some pictures of Kyle and Lauren in their cap and gown to celebrate. We didn't want them to miss out on any of the fun of graduation, so my sister even played pomp and circumstance and we had to make sure there was a hat toss. But as Lauren tossed her cap, she lost her tassel, <laughs> so more on that later. After all the fun and celebrating, we rolled up our sleeves and pitched in to help Kyle move out of his apartment. Kyle lived in this off-campus apartment for three and a half years of his college career with his best friend and roommate, Oliver. Oliver's family lives in Florida, so they have already packed his things and have gone at this point. And so we wanted to pitch in with Kyle to not only help him move out, but to clean up the apartment a little bit. It's a lot more fun when we can do it together and lots of hands make light work. This is where Kyle stored his bicycle, which he used to get around campus. And so there are some marks on the wall, but they are easily taken care of with a magic eraser, and my sister jumped in to take care of that job. Meanwhile, Lauren was back in Kyle's bedroom, helping to gather up and pack up the remaining things that he had in there. And I did the bathroom, which is a small bathroom. There wasn't a lot of space and we were short on time, so I don't have footage of that for you today. But when I came out, I discovered that my sister had put Peyton on the magic eraser job and he did a great job with that. Kyle was busy packing up as well, but also moving things out of the apartment, down two flights of steps, and then packing up the car and the trailer that we brought along. Three and a half 
years of two college guys living together created a few dirty jobs in the apartment as well one of which is cleaning out the refrigerator and Kyle insisted on doing all of those jobs himself Once the apartment was in order and everything was packed up in the trailer and the back of the car, it was time to head home. really grateful that we had this opportunity to spend the day with Kyle and Lauren as well as they close this chapter of their lives they say goodbye to college and move on to the next chapter but before we left town there was one very important piece of business that we had to attend to and that was retrieving Lauren's castle when we wake hear the birds and see the sun Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. today's video be sure to give me a thumbs up thank you so much for spending your time with us today we really enjoyed sharing this with you I look forward to seeing you in the comments and in the next video have a wonderful week you and I can weather any storm.